Hello there. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about YouTube CEO Susan Wojcicki. That's exactly right, Susan Wojcicki. I got her name perfect on the first try because I'm not like most YouTubers. I'm not going to use this opportunity to uh, make a gag out of how difficult it is to say her last name because that's low-hanging fruit. And if you know Leon, you know Leon doesn't fuck around with low-hanging fruit. I go for the top of that motherfucking apple tree because I am Leon motherfucking Lush! <sighs> oh, fuck with that bullshit. <sighs> Hello everybody, my name is Leon Lush, and as always, welcome to a new video. I am so privileged to have you here with me, and as always, I am just bereft of words that could possibly convey my appreciation for you spending a few minutes here with me before moving on with your day. So as I stated in the intro, real big hairy news coming out of the Susan Wojcicki camp today. Well, that's great, Leon. Did she fix YouTube? Not a f uh, chance. Oh, no. Well, it, did, did she at least fix monetization so people are making money again? <laughs> no, no. No, definitely not. Susan Wojcicki started her own YouTube channel. Now, some people might suggest that this is a good move for Susan, kind of bringing herself off the pedestal of CEO down to our level as a YouTuber. Now she's making content. Now she's pumping out the vids. So she's gonna know what it's like to be up all hours of the night editing, right? She's gonna know what it's like to put on 40 pounds because you gave up any, any aspiration to be fit because you're just busy trolling around YouTube, making videos and fucking shit posting all hours of the night. She's gonna know what it's like to have all of your videos demonetized and have to eat ramen for three months while you figure out what the fuck you're gonna do to support yourself and your family. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. There's no way she's gonna know that pain. <laughs> In all seriousness though, being the CEO of YouTube must carry a massive amount of responsibility. Just the weight of the YouTube world on your shoulders, everyone shitting on you from fucking every corner of the world. Just very stressful, right? So what's the best thing you can do to relieve some of that stress? Well, create your own YouTube channel. No! Running a YouTube channel is some stressful ass shit! I spend 98% of my day checking my YouTube analytics on my phone, seeing how close I am to zero, wondering if because I missed an upload, YouTube's gonna completely forget about me and stop wrecking my men and wrecking stuff. <laughs> stop recommending my videos to people because I forgot to make one fucking upload. Hey, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's not really that bad, honestly, running a YouTube channel. But Susan Wojcicki should really stick to what she does best, which is break uh. fucking ruining YouTube, I guess. So actually, you know what? Fuck. Maybe she should start a YouTube channel because the more she's busy making videos for a channel, the less she's fucking behind the wheel of the YouTube shit. Maybe it'll Maybe it'll fix itself while she's not paying attention. <laughs> am, I, am, I, am I right? Anyways, enough of the chit chat. Susan uploaded her first video just a few days ago called My First Video Advice from Creator. So we're going to go ahead and take a quick peek at that. Roll the clip! Hi, Susan. Hey, Susan. Uh, not even two seconds in, and Hannah Stocking. Our Viner Invasion, our very own fucking Hannah Stocking is in, oh my god. Hold on, wait a sec, let me YouTube it. Wojcicki. Wojcicki. Hi, Hi Susan Wojcicki. That's how I knew how to say her name at the beginning of this video. I cheated and looked ahead. Woo! Yeah, like this jam. Uh, uptown funky up. I said uptown funky up. Stay what? Stop. Wait a minute, fill my cup, put some liquor in it! Hey Susan, I just heard you're gonna be starting your own YouTube channel. That is very exciting. Congratulations on starting your channel. So far we're half a minute in and all she's done is gotten a bunch of big name Norma YouTubers to say hi Susan! I'm loving this. My tip is just be you, just be authentic. Whoa, whoa, Susan, slow down a second. You, you're gonna make me like you if you keep that up. The Rock, Dwayne Mother and Johnson, you got for this video? I mean, he is nothing to do with being a YouTuber. He's the fucking man. Don't get me wrong. I mean, who doesn't love Dwayne Johnson all the way from the People's Elbow to the Scorpion King to every San Andreas or disaster movie on the planet? This man is shredded, handsome, hilarious, and I want to suck his dick. <laughs> Anyways, you get a point just for just for having him in your video. I mean, you have no choice but to be just like, excuse my language, but just like, cool. See how I did that? My man Dwayne breaking us off with a manual sensor of himself. Fucking cool. I told you before that, you know, The Rock had nothing to do 
with what it's like to be a YouTuber, and I, I, might, st I might stand corrected here because clearly he knows the appropriate techniques to hold on to those green dollar signs. YouTube. Censor yourself. Jump up. You want to make a great video? You have to rehearse. You got to practice, practice, practice. That's what it's... And Rudy Mancuso makes an appearance. Another Viner. We have Viners, celebrities, just a bunch of people that don't know what it's like to be, well, an actual YouTuber, I feel like. Giving her advice on how to be a YouTuber. Now, in Rudy's defense, he can be, he can be pretty funny, but most of the people he bangs around with, like Hannah Stockings and... Uh, <sighs> If you work really, really hard every what? week on making no. amazing videos, life will be no. amazing No! 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 Lele f pawns. Susan, you got Lele pawns to be in this video. Anybody that knows me at all knows how I feel about Lele pawns. I'm not hating on Lele pawns as a person, as an Instagrammer. Uh, but I am hating on her as a, a YouTube comedian. I'm sorry I'm a little triggered. I just... <laughs> don't take it. Don't take advice. Nah, don't take advice from Lele Pons. If we have one word of advice, don't worry about the negative comments. Everybody gets them. And besides, reading mean comment videos make for great content. That's great advice, little brown chin, and that's pretty much exactly what I'm going to do in a... Just a minute or two once I roll down to the comments of this video because I can only imagine what people are saying. In fact, I didn't even look at the like ratio. Let's take a peek at that. <laughs> oh boy! Susan is off to a rough start. My my. Our piece of advice is that you should always look like you're holding a camera when you're making videos. Oh, it's Rhett and Link. Oh, good mythical morning. Oh. My advice is consistency. Always comes out on the same day at the same time. Keep an eye on the comments in the beginning. You must be consistent with your uploads. Consistency is key. Okay, so we're well on our way through this video, and it looks like the whole thing is pretty much just people telling Susan to be consistent with her content, which I know that she won't be, and to uh, not, you know, don't take hate too personally, and reading hate comments can really be a, a wonderful form of content. Is she even in this f***ing thing? I mean, this is her first video. She could make a f***ing appearance. Let's, let's finish it up. Good luck with everything, Susan. No! Yeah! Yeah! I'm gonna be making videos regularly. Just check back to my channel. Till my next video. That's it? You make a YouTube channel in your first video, you give yourself four seconds of screen time, say 10 words with three jump cuts in it. <laughs> I mean, I can't. What are you doing? What is this? I will say though, using jump cuts is, is quite the YouTube strategy, so you got a leg up in that regard. But uh, Susan, I am just gonna need so much so much better out here. Alrighty, so that was it. Susan Wojcicki's first YouTube video, and I am inspired. Let's go ahead and, um... Just roll down to the comments real quick, see what uh, the critics have to say. I hope your video was demonetized. <laughs> Boom! I feel offended. Please demonetize. See, there's a little bit of a little bit of a theme going on here. Thanks for ruining a good site. Thanks. Thanks for ruining YouTube, frowny face. <laughs> Why did she start a YouTube channel? What what did she think was gonna happen? Any chance you could do your job? Also, why did you ask millionaires, Instagram and Vine celebrities and TV talk show hosts for advice? They're not YouTubers. That's a valid point. Bring back free speech! Finally, my good friend Joseph Goebel says this. Decentralization and creativity made YouTube a popular and amazing site to go and look for videos. Demonetization and picking corporations over the people is destroying YouTube's traditions. YouTube has become extremely mainstream and lost its touch of counterculture and individuality. I don't usually like to get so deep on the last comment, but that one just... That one cut me deep. Anyways, that's gonna, uh... That's gonna do it. Thank you so much for joining me for a couple of quick goofs and a few chuckles, you know? Uh, if you could just do me this favor before before moving on, if you could just order Chinese food, takeout would be fine. I recommend scallion pancakes as at least party order, but really it's totally up to you what you want. The only important part is that there's chopsticks when the order comes, because you want to take those chopsticks and use them to gently kind of caress around the areola 
portion of your nipple until you get a nice, nice hard nipple erection, and then use that uh, erect nipple to smash that motherfucking like button. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah!